Ladies and gentlemen, mutants of all ages, welcome to another episode of Fulton Street Beats. That's right. We like to get down, we like to jazz it up, we like to funk it up. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I hope you come here for some information at a good time. And as usual, please don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. It's always greatly appreciated. And feel free to leave any comments in the comment box below. I try to answer them all. What do we got going on today? We got an unboxing today. So let's uh, let's go over some details. So. I kind of turned into a microphone fiend. And what do I mean by that? Like I reached out to a company. I wanted to test out some of their microphones. They said they're pretty decent and they were on the inexpensive side. And here at Fulton Street Beats, we like to do things on the cheap because I'm a cheapskate and I want the best I can get for the cheapest price possible. So there's a company, and I think this is the company, and I don't want to rape their name. The brand says it's, is it Musin? I think they got it. It says, looks like Mivzin on the uh, on the box, but then it looks like a U on the mic, so I don't know. I'm not sure what we're unboxing. Let me give you the details as they post on Amazon. Now, this was courtesy of them, but they're going to get an honest review. We'll see how it works. This is the uh, Mizfin, Miz, Mi, Mivzin, Mivzin, that's it, T700. And it has a hard software so you can adjust the reverberation. And it goes on. It's kind of broken English, of course. So I'm not going to lay that all on you. Of course, it has a sound card, and it connects to your computer, of course. And it does have a scissor arm boom style that comes with it. It is the full kit with the sound card. It does have some in-ear monitors, although I expect them not to be good if they're anything like the monitors that came with the BM-800, which are garbage by any standards. However, I do like the bm 800 microphone and I'm still using the inexpensive sound card right here as you can see and it has all kinds of new neat effects as we went over in some other videos and it gets the job done and for 38 bucks for the entire setup including cables you can't go wrong for 38 bucks if it goes up I'll buy a new one wait I don't have to they're sending me microphones for free Well, maybe we still would have to because this one works pretty good. So anyhow, let's go down here and see what they say. Superb quality car droid microphone. Classic baby bottle shape. Hmm, I like that shape. Anti-interference all metal body with chrome plated and painted surface. Frequency. 192 kilohertz, 24 bit, and it has a 16 millimeter condenser. It is all aluminum construction, as it says. Anyhow. And we have a sound card, a desktop sound card, that is going to include some things. We'll unbox it to make sure that they match. We'll go over that in a minute in a minute. What do you get with this bundle? The T700 bundle. You get a pop filter, which actually looks nice. You get a shockproof bracket, as you can see. We get your boom arm, USB cable, mic cable, earplugs. They say earplugs. They mean headphones. Get your sound card. You get your microphone. And how much does this cost on Amazon right now? For the kit. 
for the kit is $55.99, they say right now on Amazon. And it has a four star rating. I don't take ratings really into account because most people who rate things really don't know what they're rating or they, they come across that with cables. They'll buy cables and they'll say, this doesn't work. Well, it doesn't work with, with your device because you don't know what cable works with your device. So I see that a lot and they'll give them a bad rating, even though it's not for a particular Android or iPhone or what have you. It's the same thing with studio monitor speakers. As you know, if you have studio monitor speakers, you don't get the sound that you get from a regular pair of speakers. And that's for a reason. Because they're in the studio and they're made to reproduce sound flat. But I digress. But they got some decent ratings on here. And um, we'll see what we can do for adjustments on this. But without any further ado, Let's unbox, I hope this is the mic and not the other one because I, I feel like a fool. It's not because I'm not redoing this video. So let's, uh, let's unbox this. Here it is. Arrived about an hour ago. And we have some nice bubble wrap. I am so sick of this stuff. Well, this is interesting. I have a high quality digital cable. I am not sure what this is for. Well, let's open it. Must be they know what I'm doing because I think I think I do know what this is for and they must be watching my channel because I'm in need of one of these. Yes, I am in need of one of these. I need these one one of these for my Rolland kit, my drum kit. So to the company, thank you very much. It's a nice little added bonus. I'm sure this, well, maybe it does go directly to the sound card, although I will not use it as such. Check this out. Yes, we have a right and left for my module on my Rollin kit, my V8306, going into a single that goes directly into my, I always forget the name of it, my, it'll come to me later on. Anyhow, it's a little type of converter that goes into my recording device. And this is something that I needed to get both channels to both sides in. So thank you for that. And now for the creme de la creme. Packaged quite nicely. Very nice presentation. What does this say here? Comes with powerful software. Complete special effects. Multiple modes available. Dual microphone and monitor available. That is cool. I can run two mics, ladies and gentlemen. That is pretty cool. We just might have to try that out. And it has convenient knobs for operation. But the packaging does look very nice. And it actually, if it wasn't for that last statement about convenient knobs, I think it, uh, I think it looks pretty classy. It's not cheap packaging. Let's get into it. Didn't your mama ever tell you not to cut towards yourself, Mike? Speaking of cutting towards myself, interesting story why we're unboxing this. 
My neighbor across the street cut off her big toe in the lawnmower. And I went over and found her big toe and put it in, on ice for them to take it to try to put it back on. This was just the other day. How was that for crazy? She didn't even know her toe was chopped off. There was very little blood. And I looked at my wife and I said, where exactly was she? And my wife said, why? I said, because she doesn't have a toe. And I went over and that was a big toe. And it was the whole toe. And there it was, just laying there in the grass, spit out by the lawnmower. And the EMTs arrived and they didn't know what to do with the toe. They were in shock themselves, more than the woman on the ground was with no toe. So I kindly told them they need to take this toe and get it to the hospital, even if it was before she got to the hospital so they could try to save the toe. You would think they'd be trained for this type of thing. But I digress. Packaging. Very nice packaging. I'm trying to figure out exactly how to open it. Maybe it just the whole top comes off. Look at this. This is really not uh, the best setup for unboxings, but I was excited. Aha! Uh -huh. We have anti theft. We have an anti-theft device, also known as tape. Please let that be all. I'm still kind of in awe over the packaging over a $55 kit. Nice foam. Wow, and a very nice presentation. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice presentation. Mivzen, I will give you props on presentation and packaging. We're going to start with the pop filter. I believe that's what this is. Very nice. Very shiny. And quite heavy. Okay, you know how you order these kits up and they come with really cheap cables? These are, as they're braided, this is a, kind of looks like a MIDI cable. This thing is braided. Very, okay, so far they got me. On the first two things, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen anything that costs 55 bucks. B, I mean, my $38 system, I wasn't expecting much, and it did more than I thought it was going to do. But so far, this is quite impressive. And does this make a difference? Does the pop filter make a difference? S it does make a difference. Now let's move to the shock mount. And surprise, surprise, unlike the BM-800, this shock mount is metal. And it has the... Clip vice lock mount. Very heavy again. This is turning out to be nice. Let's just hope the microphone is not shit. Let's move on to the XLR. Okay, I'll tell you right now that this XLR, just by weight and feel, it's far superior than the one that's running with the BM-800. And I'm not, listen, this BM-800 is great for those of you who need one and you need it on the cheap. It works fantastic. I have no problems with this mic. 
So I'm not putting it down, but I will tell you when something's better, this is far better, far, you know, it exceeds it. It's heavier. It's, it doesn't look like pop metal kind of like this one does. So, so far cables are fantastic. Let's move on. Let's proceed. Boob arm. Now, usually these are where they skimp a little. And this appears to be the exact boom arm. With one exception. Okay, so my boom arm with my BM800, the arm itself is really good, and it works fantastic. But where it mounts, it's like a C-clamp type unit like this, and your boom arm sits in here like so, and it clamps. This one is a bit thicker and more heavy duty than that one. And that's good because that one's a bit weak, and the more you use it, it bends a little bit, so I kind of got it fixed in a permanent position. What I'm going to do, why I got you right here, is I am going to mount this boom arm over here. Oh, yes, much more sturdy for sure. Much more sturdy. And then you got a little knob here. You can tighten it up in there if you want to. So it's not wobbly. Good thing I'm tightening it. I think the shoe is really loose. There we go. And then this is where your. Mike would screw on to. Well, let's get a little di dive in a little deeper. I know I'm saving the best for last, ladies and gentlemen, but huh, this must be the earbuds. They come in a zippered case. So let me get this straight. For 38, let's see, 48. For about 15 bucks more, you can have this microphone with all these extra features. Well, these earbuds do look better than the ones that I got. So I'm not going to put them down just yet, but we're going to have to test those later on. I can't compare them against my over-ear monitors because these over-ear monitors will simply blow them out of the water. So it's, that's not a fair comparison. But very cool. And it does have extra buds. So far, impressive. The packaging is super nice, too. Everything will go right back in this box. It's nice and almost feels like a felt. And now we get to the sound card, which is quite a bit heavier than the BM800 sound card. And it looks a little bit simpler to operate. It doesn't take a Philadelphia lawyer to figure it out. So we have our simple knobs on the front, and I am trying to figure out how this works here. Everything is labeled, but it's hard to see in this light. It looks like we have a mic one, we have a mic two, we have a mic three, we have a thing for instruments, we have... I think backing track, your earphones and such. And then we have, okay, so the cord that I thought was the, it looked like a uh, MIDI cord. It is not. It is the power cord. It's what powers this. So that's pretty cool. This is nice looking. I wouldn't mind this displayed on the desk. This is this is nice. If that could sit up, you probably won't see it. But if that, yeah, that sits nicely. And it's heavy enough where it's not going to fall down. And it looks good. I do like it. You guys want to check this out? 
the knobs have positive clicks. So they don't just roll. Each one is a separate. Okay, that's that one anyhow. This one doesn't do it. This must be a fader. So the first knob. is your mode knob, and that has positive clicks. Then you have bass, treble, and mic. So basic, I don't think there's any special effects. Maybe your modes are, but it's not like, like my other one has, you know, all of the special effects. It'd be nice if we could run them in unison with each other. Maybe we can do that. We'll have to see. Now let's get to the microphone. Maybe we'll plug it in and see how it sounds through the sound card that I'm running now. Although, the, whoa, it's heavy. What a difference. It's heavy and it's quite beautiful. Most impressive. Very, very beautiful. Now let's slip on that. I believe this is where it goes. You know what? I want to see something. Let's, I, you know, I usually don't like to take things apart. However, it was free, right? Let's see the electronics. Definitely more electronics than the BM800. Definitely a lot more going on in there. The circuit board in the BM800 is a quarter of the size. Very cool, very cool indeed. I don't know if this part screws down. I think it, there we go. Yes, it does. And then I'm looking at the mic. And I'm trying to see what polar side is correct. It's going to be this side. So what I like to do is, you've, if you look through the grills, you can tell what side you is the proper side. I like to line up. Maybe they've already done this. I like to line the words up with the side you speak in. And that way you're not going by guessing goddamn when you're using it. So pretty impressive so far. But does it function? That is the that is the real question. Sounds like I got a little reverb on. Hey, I did have a little reverb on. I'm just being very delicate right now, folks. Screw that together. I believe. Maybe. I, I, I tightened the top. Maybe that's not supposed to be tight. Maybe that's supposed to be like this. Until you get your pop filter. Yes, there you go. And then you put your pop filter. Very cool. Very cool indeed. So you loosen the top. If I'm not mistaken. At least that's how it's showing it. And then you put your pop filter on. Very cool indeed. Should we give this a try, ladies and gentlemen? Because I am curious. Let's unplug. Give me a moment. By the way, this is not the proper way of doing it. For those of you out there, shut down your equipment first. Do not attempt this at home.
And there we are. And that is the difference. I'm going to turn this around the other way, and I can tell you right now that this mic is, in my monitors right now, is very clear and crisp. I may have to adjust a lot of different things, but let's turn this mic around. And let's see how it sounds. Now you see the difference in the sound one way than the other. And then, then here we are here. So let's take the pop filter off. If I can. Oh, that's neat. There we go. So the ring pops off. Very cool, very cool. Okay, that's not too bad. Now, basically, I'm going to turn up some treble. There, now we have some treble turned up. There we are. Now, that's about where we'd be using our, our pop filter, I think. Treble's all the way up here. Now the treble is all the way down. And this microphone captures vocals quite well, I believe. Okay, let's put on that pop filter. Check that out. I really like that. And it makes a big difference, I can tell already. Very, very, very cool. Maybe we'll do some vocal track of this thing. Now, keep in mind, I'm using the sound card that I was using. How's the reverb now? How's the oh, echo? Yeah. The echo sounds good. This mic picks up very nice. There is a lot of difference in this microphone. Hmm. So what do you guys think? Treble all the way up? And about three quarters, and we'll put it about halfway. I think that sounds good about right there, personally. Now, how far can we get away from this? How is that for you? Does that work? Personally, I think the closer you are, the better you are to a condenser microphone. and I and That's my habit. But let's see if we turn. There we go. Turn it up. How's that? Not too bad, I don't think. Anyhow. $55.99 on Amazon. Are you guys curious what this mic weighs? Should I weigh the two to show you the comparison? Now, don't be turned off by the BM800. Because it does sound decent. Some people think it sounds better. I'm sure there'll be people that think it sounds better. I don't know. My monitors, my over-ear monitors are telling me that this microphone right here sounds amazing. But I'm sick of hitting my hat on it, so hold on one second. There, let's try that. How is that? So, once again, the Mivzin, M -Miv Mivzin, M-I-V-S-N podcast microphone from Amazon. Unidirectional. Um, you guys are going to have to look this up for yourself because I'm not going to put a link in the description because simply things come and go too quickly. And it says connector type USB. So it is USB powered. Which is fine. But I'm not sure. I don't know if there's a battery pack in it or not. So if it's anything like this one, we'll have to get into it and dive into the directions. Are you guys interested in that right now? Well, of course you are. Let's uh, let's take a look. <laughs> My lighting's not the greatest right here, so bear with me. Oh, wow, it actually has software. Well, we're going to wait on this because um, we'll come back with another video once I figure all of this out. But as far as sound goes, with this sound card, is decent. Make sure, guys, 
that you hit that like button, that you share, and that you subscribe. Because the next video that comes out will be the this microphone with the sound card and a comparison between the two directly, between the BM800 and the Mibzen. And then we have another one on the way also. And let me tell you, the one that's coming, they have compared this at one time to a $12,500 microphone. That is correct. A $12,500 microphone that was used in the song, We Are The World. How will it compare in Fulton Street Beat Studio? I don't know. But thanks, guys. Enjoy your evening, and you have a great day. And we'll be talking to you soon. Remember to be kind to one another. Give each other a great big hug, great big kiss. And remember, it's love that makes the world go round, baby.